Hi, welcome to Julius Bar. Today I have a really special original recipe for you. So, you know, I told you later I've been having some really deep dreams. And last night it was the turn of uh, Sir Paul McCartney. He presented himself to me in my dream, just like it happened to him when he dreamt about the melody for yesterday. And as the story goes, he woke up the next morning with the melody for yesterday in his mind, just thinking he copied it from somewhere and uh, he may listen to people and they say, no, it's, I think it's original. And the same goes for this cocktail that Sir Paul McCartney told me in my dream. He told me, you gotta take dry vermouth and mix it with dry gin. Just a small amount of vermouth and a kind of bigger amount of gin. And it's gonna be the best cocktail you will ever have. So let's get down to mixing. Specifically, you really say you should use one sixth of the amount of gin as for the amount of your dry vermouth. And so I'm gonna use 10 milliliter of dry vermouth. And then Sir Paul said to use London dry gin. And so I'm using Tanqueray in the amount of exactly 60 milliliters. Then he instructed me on adding quite the good amount of really cold ice to the mixing glass and to stir until achieving a good amount of dilution and an extremely chilliness in your cocktail. And he pointed out specifically, you might hear some people say, shake it. Maybe some people in the espionage community, shake my service cocktail, but you shall refrain from doing so because that's against the rules. just when you achieve the perfect dilution, get a chilled V-shaped cocktail glass and strain the contents of your mixing glass in the said chilled cocktail glass. You might be tempted to express some lemon peel on top, but you should instead pierce an olive with a small skewer and drop it in so that the edge of the skewer lies on the side. Finally, he told me, you shall call this cocktail a martini. And I told him, but why martini? Martini is a really famous brand of vermouth. Would that cause confusion? And he said, yeah, but we will figure it out eventually. And there you go, my very own original recipe, the martini dry. Genius. Cheers. Ah, perfection. I think I should really trademark this recipe. Mmm, and the olive, the saltiness complements perfectly the dry spiciness of the cocktail. What incredibly original move. Olive man, works every time. So if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, comment down below, share with anybody you like and don't like. Steal yourself another one of my awesome original recipes and hopefully I will see you next time. Cheers. Hi, welcome to Juice Bar. Today we're gonna mix a cherry bomb number one. Two, three. <laughs> but let me pee one more time. Ooh.
We are gonna work in our shaker. Let's start by squeezing. But it's not that I ever particularly dislike Star Trek. I never got into it. Tell me, change the focus. Tell me, change the focus. My in the same because that she was bitter as fuck. Eh, uh, bright yellow sweet Italian liqueur, striga, striga. <laughs> And I was thinking about Bolly Bo eh. Necromancer. 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 But I don't have the right ingredients for it, so I substituted a bit. What the fuck is going on, man? Cream, maybe? Or a Pedro Jimenez, but I don't have any experience with Pedro Jimenez, so I'm just bullshitting here. Hi, welcome to Julius Bar today. <laughs> I'm not gonna make this easy for you. <laughs> so this is gonna be a really standard Martinex. 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 <laughs> Quick cocktails. Vesper Martini. Ve Vesper. How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> so if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, comment down below, share with you like. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, comment down below, share with my you like. So if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, comment down below, share with you like.